Welcome to the Good Manufacturing Practices 2017 to 2018 update. This presentation will address updates regarding the EU-US Mutual Recognition Agreement, a discussion of the PICS Guide to GMP for Medicinal Products, and an introduction to the EU guidelines on GMP-specific to advanced therapy medicinal products, or ATMPs. This amendment builds on the initial 1998 Mutual Recognition Agreement, which was never fully implemented. The EU and FDA will share drug manufacturing facility inspection reports and other related information to avoid duplication and improve efficiency to benefit patients and public health. The scope includes a broad range of human medicines and biologics. Initially excluded are vaccines, plasma-derived products, veterinary immunologicals, investigational products in human blood, plasma, tissue, and organs. Although duplication of inspections within each other's territories will be minimized, each retains the right to inspect within each other's territory at any time. Although the initial focus is on inspections within each other's respective territories, the option is available to rely on the other's inspections outside the respective territories. Import testing may not stop until all EU members have been confirmed. As the EU performs internal audits of its inspectorates to ensure consistency, the EU invited the FDA to observe these internal audits. In addition to these observations, FDA independently assessed inspection capability of individual EU member countries and inspectorates and will continue monitoring. Also, the EU assessed the FDA according to the same criteria applied to EU member countries, including observing an FDA inspection. Due to the number of EU member countries, FDA has been gradually confirming assessment of member countries. Completion of confirmations is expected by 15 July 2019. The mission of PICS is to lead the international development, implementation, and maintenance of harmonized GMP standards and quality systems of inspectorates in the field of medicinal products as a non-binding cooperative arrangement between participating authorities spanning Europe, Africa, America, Asia, and Australia. The following are updates to the PICS guidances. Key items from the PICS update. Updates to apply from pharmaceutical development through manufacturing and product discontinuation while considering company size and complexity in incorporating quality risk management. Design, plan, implement, maintain, and continuously improve and prospectively evaluate plan changes including regulatory impact and evaluate post change for impact. The PICS applies monitoring and control systems for process performance and product quality to maintain a state of control while monitoring results that impact batch release, deviation investigation, and preventive actions. One should apply root cause analysis during investigations of deviations, product defects, and problems, then corrective preventive actions. PICS recommends to select and monitor suppliers from approved supply chain and provide a process to assure management of outsourced activities, including product quality review of starting materials from new sources, especially supply chain traceability of active substances. Senior management has ultimate responsibility for and must actively participate in quality system to ensure adequate resources are available and responsibilities are defined, communicated, and implemented. Periodic management review for continual improvement should be conducted along with an updated quality manual which defines and documents system, including management responsibilities. Senior management should provide appropriate resources to implement, maintain, and continually improve the quality system. Senior management has the ultimate responsibility for quality system to achieve quality objectives while establishing a quality policy describing company quality intentions and direction to ensure quality system effectiveness through participation in management review. 
In addition, they should appoint key management personnel for authorized product release persons, heads of production, quality control, and quality unit. Organization chart should show the relationships between heads of production, quality control, and quality unit and the authorized persons in the managerial hierarchy. The authorized person ensures each batch complies with laws and requirements of marketing authorization by meeting national qualification requirements. This responsibility may be delegated to authorized persons. The heads of production and quality control must be independent with the head of production to ensure qualification and maintenance of his department premises and equipment. The head of quality control should ensure evaluation of associated records along with all necessary testing and qualification and maintenance of his department premises and equipment. The respective heads of production, quality control, and quality unit share the approval and monitoring of providers of other GMP-related outsourced activities. They should participate in management reviews of process performance, product quality, and quality system, advocating continual improvement while ensuring timely, effective escalation of quality issues to management. Consultants shall demonstrate adequate education, training, and experience, and the company shall maintain records of name, address, qualifications, and the type of service provided. Quality control should be considered along with relevant sections of GMP guide. The QC department should be independent from other departments. The company should provide good quality control laboratory practice by avoiding cross-contamination and moving of laboratory equipment between high-risk areas and arrange microbiological laboratory to minimize cross-contamination risk. Documentation should include procedures requiring recording and verifying, investigations of out-of-specification and out-of-trend results, and the investigation and outcome of any out-of-specification and out-of-trend results. QC sampling should include a plan justified and based on risk management approach. The company should store to minimize mix-up risk and to protect from adverse storage conditions and refer to Annex 19 for further guidance. Quality control testing should verify appropriateness of testing method for laboratory which did not perform original validation. QC trend parameter results of critical quality attributes for consistency and records reference equipment used. The company should prepare and control reagents, standards, culture media following written procedures based on use and stability data and perform and document qualification of reference standards as suitable for intended use. Compendial reference standards from officially recognized source and for purpose described in monograph are preferred. The company should prepare culture media to manufacturer's requirements and verify performance prior to use. Decontaminate and dispose of used microbiological media and strains to prevent cross-contamination while establishing, documenting, and justifying microbiological media shelf life. Prior to technical transfer of testing methods, the company should transfer site methods that comply with marketing authorization while reviewing original validation for International Conference on Harmonization ICH slash veterinary ICH VICH requirements and perform and document supplementary validation gap analysis. Identify the following for technical transfer of testing methods, testing to performance, and relevant methods undergoing tech transfer. The protocol for technical transfer of testing methods should investigate protocol deviations before transfer closure in the transfer report to document outcome of protocol deviation investigations and identify areas for further revalidation. Any outsource activity should be appropriately defined, agreed, and controlled. Please make appropriate arrangements where marketing authorization holder is not manufacturer.
The contract giver should include control and review of outsource activities in the quality system. The contract giver has responsibility that processes assure control of outsourced activities and should incorporate quality risk management principles. Prior to outsourcing, the contract giver should assess contract acceptor and ensure contract requires GMP principles and guide are followed. The contract giver should monitor and review contract acceptor performance and review and assess records and results, ensuring that all deliverables comply with GMP and marketing authorization. The contract acceptor should only subcontract to third party only with contract giver's approval, sharing information and suitability assessment of third party. No unauthorized changes, which may adversely impact quality. The contract specifies the responsibilities and communication processes. Also, any records relevant to assessing product quality in event of complaints, defects, or suspected falsified product investigations must be accessible and specified in contract giver procedures. Advanced therapy medicinal products, referred to as ATMPs, include gene therapy medicinal products, somatic cell therapy medicinal products, and tissue engineered products. The EU guidelines on GMP specific to advanced therapy medicinal products apply to ATMPs for use in clinical settings which have received marketing authorization, authorized ATMPs. Manufacturers are responsible for quality of ATMPs they produce regardless whether developed in hospital, academia, or industry. Flexibility implies control and mitigation measures be specific to unique product and manufacturing risks. Consider related risks to human health and environment and level of effort and documentation corresponding to risk level. Risks are highly dependent on biological characteristics and origin of cells tissues, the biological characteristic of vectors and transgenes, the level and characteristics of expressed protein gene therapy products, the properties of other non-cellular components in the manufacturing process. Investigational ATMPs apply GMPs to protect subjects and reliability of clinical results where both product knowledge and quality strategy gradually increase. Please seek advice from authorities for risk-based approach implementation and document reasons for approach implemented. Authorized ATMPs should be consistent with marketing authorization terms and consider specifics of manufacturing process to justify adaptation deviation from standard expectations. For aspects not covered by marketing authorization, document approach reasons to justify adequate to ensure quality and any alternatives must meet guideline objectives. Similar to pharmaceutical quality system, the following items are necessary. Personnel, documentation, quality control, premise and equipment, traceability of raw materials, manufacturing process, evaluation of plan changes, and identification of quality defects. For additional information, please refer to the links provided. As FDA QRC is committed to customer service, we welcome your honest feedback and have made the process easy for you. It will only take a few seconds for you to help us be better. Upon receipt of your survey, FDA QRC will send you a certificate as documentation of your training completion. Thank you.